So the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown was the main event. It was Drew McIntyre, Johnny Gargano, and Kevin Owens versus Mr. Money in the Bank, Austin Theory, Chad Gable, and Otis, Alpha Academy, in a six-man tag team match. So yeah, this was the main event for tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. It was a pretty good main event. At the ending of this match, we see McIntyre and uh, Theory going at it. McIntyre throws Theory back into the ring. That's when Otis attacks uh, McIntyre, running him into the still steps. And then Johnny Gargano, uh, well, Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano was trying to help out Drew McIntyre. Johnny Gargano hits a super kick on the onto Otis, and then Kevin Owens hits a super kick on Otis, and then both of them hits a double super kick on Otis, laying him out. They tear apart the announce table, laying Otis onto the announce table so they can put him through it. But then that's when Chad Gable comes up, grabbing, uh, you know, Gargano, throwing him into the ring post or whatever, and then uh, hitting a belly to belly suplex on Kevin Owens outside of the ring, saving Otis, and Otis gets off the announce table and stuff. And then that's when uh, Chad Gable grabs Kevin Owens. Puts him on the announce table, about to put him through it. But then that's when we see Johnny Gargano hits a tornado DDT onto Otis, taking him out. And then Kevin Owens hits the stunner onto Chad Gable on top of the announce table. And he never went through another and just happened. And then that's it. when we get to the back into the ring where we see Austin Theory try to hit that drop kick where he comes off the apron, like rolling back into the ring. He gets hit with a claymore at the same time, getting pinned for the one, two, three. So yeah, Drew McIntyre. Johnny Gargano and Kevin Owens defeated uh, Chad Gable and Otis Alpha Academy and Mr. Money in the Bank Austin Theory tonight in the in the six man tag team match in tonight's main event. So yeah, that's what happened for that match. I'll give it a uh, three star. I'll give it three and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. It was a pretty good match. This is easily match of the night. Now um, the tag team match with Sami Zayn and Solo Sokoa. That match, it was a pretty good match as well. Uh, Bailey versus Shotzi was okay. Didn't care for that match at first with Austin Theory and Drew McIntyre, but, you know, I understand why it ended in DQ, so they got the main event. And, uh, yeah, uh, Hit Row versus uh, Lost Lotharios, was, it was all right. And then the bra I like the brawl, the segment with uh, Gunther and Sheamus. That segment was pretty damn good. But... Next week's episode of SmackDown should be a lot more better. Roman Reigns and Logan Paul is going to be on it. Um, the Intercontinental Championship will be defended and stuff like that. So, yeah, many more stuff next week for sure. For this episode of SmackDown, I'll give it six and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay episode of SmackDown, but not the best. But next week's episode, I really hope, is way better. Uh, and then after the match ended, I forgot to mention, uh, McIntyre did have the strap and he hit Austin Theory in the back with the strap and Theory quickly got out of the ring. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But, yeah, that has been my WWE Friday Night SmackDown September 30th, 2022 reviews. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team WWE Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Vales. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for this Monday's Monday Night Raw reviews. See you guys later. Until then.